very good day to Dr. Yusuf. We are from Group MET17. My name is Yovan Hong with the metric number of 143352. The product that we chose previously was Kuka Robot Arm that was manufactured by using Fields Depositions Modeling, also known as FDM. After discussion among our group members, we found out that the Kuka Robot Arm also can be manufactured by using Cold Isostatic Press. My name is Muhammad Nafis Behamidi. The Kuka Robot Arm can be manufactured by using cold isostatic pressing because it is able to produce a part with high degree of complexity like a robot arm as shown in Figure 2. Besides that, the size of the robot arm is within the range of CIP process capabilities with respect to part size as shown in Figure 1 for the specifications and Figure 2 for the part size capabilities. Lastly, it also is suitable because this process has a wide range of component sizes and weight and can be made from massive 30 ton down to 100 gram parts while our robot arm weight is approximately 26.5 kg. Hi, my name is Muhammad Naim Bezakaria, metric number 141678. So, today I will talk about the advantages of applying cool isostatic pressing. The first advantage is there is no limitation in product size, which means full isostatic pressing can produce either big or small product. It is ideal for a very large component, but full isostatic pressing also can produce small product with high complexity. Secondly, structure cracking from non-uniform particle packing due to pressure gradient is much reduced compared to other powder metallurgy process. Thank you. Hi, my name is Muhammad Noor Akmal bin Nordin, metric number 141293. Today, I will talk about limitation of cold isostatic pressing. There are some limitation when performing the cold isostatic process. The first limitation is that CIPs have lower surface precision adjacent to flexible bags compared to mechanical pressing or extrusion, usually requiring subsequent machining. In addition, CIP requires a relatively expensive dry powder that is usually required for automatic dry bag presses. Finally, it has a lower production rate than extrusion or dye compaction. Greetings, my name is Wong Zizian. Matrix number is 142519. I will carry on with the topic of alternative traditional manufacturing process as follows. The base arm, columns, and support of the robot arm are first made by casting or welding and riveting. Those areas that meet with the rest of the robot are machined with close dimensional control to assure proper attaching components. The moving columns and arms are sub-assembled with their respective dry models, hydraulic cylinders, and bearings. Finally, the sub-assemblies are connected to the base by fastening. Thank you. Hi, my name is Zulami Bin Zubi. I'm going to explain about the conclusion. So, as for the conclusion, we found that the cold isolated pressing is the best way to manufacture the part because cold isolated, isolated pressing is able to produce complex shape like the Kuka robot arm. Next, there is no limitation in the product size as the Kuka robot arm is quite big. Next, it also, uh, the process has an limitation which the biggest limitation is that it has a lower production rate than the extrusion and compact die, die compaction. And finally, the robot can be manufactured by traditional way by using uh, casting or welding and riveting.